to embed Leganto reading lists in the university's LMS, or Learning Management System, the university must set up Leganto LTI integration. LTI is the standard that allows Leganto and other systems to communicate with the university's LMS. Students use the LMS to access administrative and educational resources such as course information, materials, and exams. Common LMSs include Moodle, Blackboard, and Canvas. In Europe, the LMS is often referred to as the VLE, or Virtual Learning Environment, and it can also be referred to as a CMS, since it serves as a course management system. Once Leganto LTI integration is set up, students and instructors can navigate to Leganto reading lists directly from the course page in the LMS. Login to Leganto is authenticated via single sign-on. Leganto can identify the role of the user logging in, whether it's a student or an instructor, and provide relevant functionality. Alma and Leganto can import course information like the course code, start and end date, etc. Courses that are rolled over from one academic year to the next in the LMS can be automatically rolled over in Alma and Leganto. The IT department of the university must set up the LTI integration to establish communication between Leganto and the CMS. Generally speaking, there are two steps to setting up LTI integration. The first is to configure LTI integration in Alma, and the second is to configure the LMS. Technical instructions for the latter step, configuring the LMS, differ between systems and can be found in the Xlibris Developer Network under Leganto, Integrations, LTI. This documentation must be provided to the IT department of the university so they can set up the integration. As you can see, each LMS has its own set of instructions. If there are any problems on the LTI side configuration, the IT department will have to take it up with the support center of the LMS, as Xlibris cannot help here. The Alma side configurations are described in the Configuring Learning Tools Interoperability, or LTI, article in the Knowledge Center. In Alma, there are three main configurations. The first is setting up the LTI integration profile to open the communication between Alma and the LMS. The second is defining LTI profile normalization rules, which define the mapping between LMS fields and ALMA fields. The third main configuration is mapping CMS roles to instructors in Leganto. This configuration will be covered in a dedicated session. Now let's look at those first two configurations in ALMA. To set up an LTI integration profile, go to ALMA Configuration, General, External Systems Integration Profiles. We can filter to see existing LTI integrations, or add a new integration profile. Select the LTI tool integration type. Now enter a name. Select the LMS system, in our example, Blackboard. Enter an optional description and click Next. For LTI type, you must select Reading List, and for LTI version, you must select 1.x. The page refreshes with a URL and credentials. These credentials are needed for embedding a Leganto reading list in the CMS, and your IT department should enter them in the CMS where required, as outlined in the Developer Network documentation. When Leganto is embedded in the CMS, the user can hide or reveal the top and left menus. You can select to have one or both of these menus hidden by default. The top menu contains the user menu and language settings, and the left menu contains the navigation and notifications menus. Next come user ID field name and course code field name. If the CMS uses different field names than the default values for the user ID and course ID fields, specify here the user ID and course ID fields, as they are in the CMS. Here are the default values for the user ID field name, and here are the default values for the course ID field name. For course code, 
If you are using Blackboard Collapsed Courses and you would like for the Parent Courses reading list to appear in the Child Course as well, enter Context Label in this field. Select User Information is Mandatory if you want to make the first name, last name, and email address mandatory fields. If you select this, any users who do not already have values for these fields will be prompted to enter values the next time they enter Leganto from your CMS. Next is self-registration. When a CMS user does not exist, the user is redirected to a login page. If you would like Alma to automatically create any unregistered users, similar to what happens for social login, select Active in the self-registration section and configure the fields in this section. When you're done, click Save and filtering by LTI tool, we can see that our integration profile has been added. The next configuration in the Alma side is the LTI profile normalization rules, in which you can optionally define the mapping between course and user IDs in the LMS and Alma. If you are using the same course IDs and user IDs, you can skip this configuration. The mapping table is found under Alma Configuration, Fulfillment, Leganto, LTI Field Normalization. To add a mapping, click Add Row. Select the field type. In this example, let's select User ID, meaning that when LMS users log into Leganto for the first time from the LMS, they will be given the new ID we will now define in Leganto. Enter the substring within the input ID coming from the CMS using a regular expression. In this example, we'll define as input the entire ID. Select which normalization method to apply on that substring. In our case, let's take concatenate to end. And if required, enter the input for the normalization method under replace string. This example appends the string underscore Alma to the original user ID as it appears in the LMS. So if the user ID is Jackie in the LMS, it will result in Jackie underscore Alma in Alma and Leganto. You can learn more about the different regular expressions and operations you can use here in the documentation. Select the LTI profile to which this mapping applies. For example, if it only applies to the Blackboard profile we just created, we'll select that one. You also have the option to select all over here to apply the mapping to all LTI profiles. When done, click Add Row. Our mapping has been added. Note that this example is for user ID and you can do the same with course IDs that are imported from the CMS to Leganto. To recap, LTI integration consists of configuration on both the Alma side and the CMS side. Detailed instructions for these configurations are documented in the Knowledge Center and in the Developer Network now displayed. The configurations are done by the IT department of the university. Once the integration is set up, Leganto will be embedded in the course page in the LMS. Thanks for joining.